Well, hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Long time no see, yeah? I know. <laughs> I missed you. Um, well, welcome to this edition of uh, Jenny Satori Healing. I know I normally do it once a month and I have slacked off quite a bit, but I have added, you know, um, by doing other things. Uh, I know I normally start with the healing energy first, but I thought I would just give you the 411 on a couple of things first before I go ahead and um, send you some of that good stuff. You deserve it. You totally do all the time. Uh, anyway, um, first of all, I'd like to share that I do have a class that is um, available at any time. Uh, it is pre-recorded. It's not live. Uh, I know I, I initially, I think I was going to make it a live, and I had even said that in part of my class for some reason I, I had explained, you know, that sometimes when you feel like something isn't right, it's okay to start over. You know, like if you're writing something and you put some time into it and then you decide you know, it's just, you're not feeling it, then you you have every right to just crumple that up and start over. Um, there's something very beautiful about that. So with that being said, I have created an on-demand course. There was a lot of people that have always asked me, do you teach uh, specifically energy healing? And I have always said, <clears throat> excuse me, no. Although I do have some free examples here on YouTube uh, technically and officially, it's always been a no up until this point. So if you don't know about it, yes, I do have uh, um, a class now. It's called Harnessing Energy. I'm going to put that link below here. Um, and it's a six-part thing where I show you from start to finish how I harness energy, how I perceive it, and then essentially how I apply it. So if you've ever wondered, if you've ever asked me, um, if you've taken courses that just didn't get you there, you know, because everybody has a piece of the puzzle. I've been saying this for years and years. We all have a piece of the puzzle. Um, but we're all working on different parts of that puzzle. And then we're also working with other puzzles. There's more than one puzzle to solve. Yeah. Uh, but also there's all these little pieces and that's why it's so important that we, um, continue to make effort, uh, in all areas that we're drawn to. That's an aside. But with that being said, it's, um, by donation only. Um, you can put in any amount you like when you get to that part and it says take the course. You can put any amount, a dollar or more. Uh, if you can't afford a dollar, go ahead and fill out the contact form and ask me. I'll be happy to give you a free scholarship if you can't afford a dollar. But, you know, if you can afford it and you'd like to, you know, kind of, um, help the others who can't by giving a little more, then that's also appreciated, you know? So you could take that at any time. You go at your own pace. And uh, I'm very, very happy to present that. And I wanted to tell you that right off the bat, you know? So there's that. Then there's my little black monkey running around here, this little boy. Can you see him? Yeah. And the birds are confirming. So if you wanted to take that class, please go ahead and uh, check it out. All right, Sh I'm shutting up. I'm going to now send some energy for everybody. I really appreciate you waiting and uh, let's see what the energy has to share today. Yeah, all right, here we go.
Da da. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was as good for you as it was for me. Yeah. <laughs> So normally we uh, also wait for spirit to uh, chime in and, and maybe give a message of uh, some importance to some of you or whatever. So, um, you know, I was getting a very strong feeling about some things. I kind of almost felt you know, like the, the, a lot of people aren't talking about it, like openly to each other, um, at, you know, about all the things that are going on yet, still, <laughs> still yet <laughs> out there. And, you know, the, uh, there's always a promise of something horrible going on, right? For lack of a better way to put it, the promise of something horrible. Uh, it reminds me of something I've said for many years, and that is that worry is like praying. You know, it's like a prayer for something that you don't want. Um, at the same time, you know, I'm always a big believer and proponent for us humans. We're human. We have the right to feel the ways that we feel uh, because it is a very much a cause and effect world <laughs> and that applies to emotions as well. You know, we kind of match the emotion to the situation and that is never wrong. You know, uh, what's wrong is when people are trying to quiet those emotions by distractions, or worse, by shame. You know, I think that when we shame people for anything, but especially for emotions, oh, we're doing such a disservice. Oh my gosh, it, it, it kind of, talk about emotions, it, it kind of wounds me when people are just, even the simplest things where people don't even mean to but they're just like oh stop crying or something like that you know and it's like no actually do do cry feel safe to do it with me um feel validated to cry for any reason you know what i'm saying like oh let's stop shaming people for normal uh responses you know, and I know there's things out there. You had the funny memes and the, the, the do this and do that memes um, that I'm not a real big fan of. But in this case, uh, I think people are catching on. They, they kind of know that, uh, but they read it briefly and they go, yeah, yeah. Um, but do they apply that in their life? Do you apply that in your life? Do I apply that in my life? Um, and we all want to say yes, but sometimes we shame ourselves, you know, for not handling things the way that you think you're supposed to or the, the reaction you were supposed to have. And it's all correct if you're feeling it, as long as, hi boo, <laughs> a bug, as long as you're not hurting anybody uh, and you are pausing before speaking. That's not what I mean. I don't mean actions that are impulsive, self-destructive, or hurtful to others. I don't mean that at all. But I do very much mean that we should embrace and stop shaming ourselves and others for our feelings. Even the big J word, jealousy. Yeah? Um, it, okay, I'll talk about it. <laughs> they, they push me like this and go, hmm, there you go. <laughs> you know, sometimes I am the object of envy or jealousy and I don't understand it. I, you know, I, I think I'm just a regular, per I'm as down to earth as I think I could be. 
and there's nothing flaunty or I, I don't know. But anyway, long story short, if at all possible, many times, um, first of all, I'm taken in such a way like, have, has this happened to you where you're like, oh, you genuinely give compliments uh, and it could be to strangers or, you know, people online and they're like, what, what do you want? <laughs> you know, like right away there's an agenda and, you know, I totally get it, but I, it, without giving all details and everything, I, you know, I was kind to someone that I don't know. Um, and they were so taken back that they were almost suspicious, I suppose. And that was okay. I'm like, you know, in this world today, you got to be careful. But, you know, me? Like, oh, my God. So, but then all of a sudden, as they realized that I was just being kind to them, they just started to be a little bit like, um... Oh, <laughs> oh, you have that? Oh, you do that? Um, this strange thing happened that, that probably happens to you too, you know? Where all of a sudden there was this weird energy because maybe they suddenly felt less than, you know? Um, and it's really, to me, I felt like that that's a shame because I could have been good friends with that person if not for those feelings and I guess my point that I'm getting to you know me I take the long way I got to thinking about how important self-esteem is and spirit as they do they kind of came along and they said oh, look at this let, let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something Jenny it is not evil, it is not greed, it is not anger, it is not even sadness, bear with me, because they're all cousins of this thing that I'm going to get at. It is in fact self-esteem that is at the root of all the problems. We go to war, <clears throat> excuse me, because of self-esteem issues. Do you think that Hitler <clears throat> had high self-esteem? You think Putin does? Why do we need to insert our positions, our agendas, so hard sometimes? It is of my opinion and my helping spirit's opinion that it is because of low self-esteem. And you know, I've always felt <clears throat> and I think it's coming about now, but I always felt that they should try and start teaching that at the youngest age possible. Uh, I had thought about that for women, but you know, boys are being left out. And we have raised collectively some very low self-esteem men, two, two. I'm not saying it's all men, but who is creating the wars? Who has created the war? I'm just saying, okay, don't, don't yell at me for history. <laughs> we have a few examples. We have the Amazons, a few ladies, but you know, more than, more times than not, we're having a lot of male energy that hasn't been nurtured and shown like I had said in the beginning about the, the emotions, the shame. See, there's a method to my madness. I always have my way of folding it all in together. And then we have one nice ravioli. 
<laughs> eventually. But anyway, um, you know, <clears throat> if men were allowed to have emotions, if men were allowed to get pats on the back from their fathers and and the mothers would continue to kiss their wounds way well after 18 even. I know we've got some good mothers out there. I'm just saying, you know, there's still this stigma, stigma with the boys, yeah? Um, they should also be allowed to be celebrated in all the ways, all the ways that all women should be celebrated too, you know, for their handsomeness, for their beauty, you know, and so on. Um, but more important than anything else, I think, is to start, in addition to getting them into the, the best schools, the nurse from nursery school and on, the best colleges, forget about that. If you haven't prepared our beautiful lovelies um, by telling them how excellent they are, no matter whether they fail or, or not, you know, even when they win, they lose sometimes, you know, like it's, that's not what it's about. There's another game out there that isn't so competitive it isn't based on scores and numbers and looks and so on it's about valuing oneself and valuing others and if i don't have all the answers i wish i did and maybe then i'd be in another game you know which i don't want to <laughs> participate in at the moment you know uh but my point is that it's not just like, oh, self-love, you know, what is that? We say it all the time, oh, love yourself. How do you love yourself if you don't have self-esteem? And although they're married a little bit, they're kind of circling in the same area. They're in the same cup of coffee. It's the value of oneself, the self-esteem, the I have a right to exist that is more important than anything, in my opinion. And that's it. That's it. I think that's all we want to say. I said a lot because I haven't been around in a while. You know what? I missed you. I love you. I hope that everything that you've been working toward is coming true and more and more i love you so much i will talk to you next time bye 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 <laughs>